Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Approximately 12 noon in Honolulu, six o'clock in New York. It is Wednesday, the 16th day of May, and this is the daily report for gold and silver. Lower prices across the board in the precious metals markets today as we see the dollar continue to rage. The low in gold was 1526.20, high 1553.50. Current print, as you can see on the screen, 1538.35 as it continues to trade lower on the day. Silver, current print, 2719. We have had a low of 26.68 and a high of 28.10. Traders, once again, it is all about the dollar. Apparently, there was a big run on the banks in Greece as they had concern about their currency. We are looking at our dollar index. Same one as yesterday, 432 minute chart. And what you'll see that I find interesting, let's go ahead and blow this up a little bit. We talked about this yesterday. But we have this almost linear move up in the dollar. Look at the angle of this ascent. It is the kind of moves that we typically see as a market falls down, but not when a market moves up. It's trading in a very, very tight channel, as you can see, and it has been moving really straight up. First gold chart I want to look at. This is our daily chart. This is of the June contract of the COMEX Gold. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. Uh, the MACD not only has now turned down hard, you can see the cross that came in here, but you can see that they are in essence widening. And that's what you look for when you look at the MACD is a widening because as it widens it tells you that that trend is accelerating and that's one of the reasons that i typically view the macd with the hank and Ashi because what uh, hank and Ashi will tell us is look you've got all the way down here these are daily bars but they all have an absence of this upper wick that shows you a pretty decent size of trend because it means that it opens really below the midpoint of the prior day and you can see that you've got decent body size in all of them. Straight red, we haven't had a green day. Really, when we look at the beginning of May, this is right now we're in the middle, but when we look at the beginning of, of May, that's really the last time we saw this market trade higher in any way, shape, or form. Now, traders, one of the questions that I have been asked is how long might this kind of a multi-month correction last? And the quick answer is obviously, I do not know. But what I can tell you is when we look at the last time we had a major ABC correction, and this is, uh, when we take a look at this, this is in 2008 to 2009, you can see that this month, this particular move took approximately six to seven months. When we consider where we're at right now, you can see that the time parameters are getting fairly even and equal. But here's what I want to really highlight today. And that is the fact when no one is looking, when no one is thinking about it, as the dollar has been getting stronger, as gold has been getting weaker, I believe there will come a point when real safe haven buying comes into the market because of the scenario that is brewing over in the European Union. Right now, we're looking at the potential for Greece to basically leave the EU. I think that that's highly likely. I talked about it yesterday in my opening letter. I don't really believe that they have the, the financial wherewithal or the ability to make these loan repayments in any kind of a timely manner as set up as a construct or set up as part of the conditions when they got this rescue bailout package. And so that means that if they do leave, they will go back to their currency and what's that going to be worth? Because it's going to be backed by debt, not by any kind of ass. And lastly, I want to take a look at silver. You know our benchmarks that we have. And the benchmark is really going to be just around $26. We talked about that yesterday. Traders, uh, as I said, all traders should be short at this point. I think silver is going to give you your best return dollar for dollar in terms of a speculative endeavor. And again, the real market move that I believe that we can see silver test is going to be to challenge these 
intraday blips, these intraday lows. And as you can see, we are currently challenging them right now. So the question is going to be, is this going to be a triple bottom here? And we have seen that before in this market, or will this market head lower to a new level before it finds any kind of support? Now, what I find interesting is the historical data we have. In other words, this is a real move right in here, a good support area. These intraday moves right here is where the market was just there for the shortest period of time. If you blinked, you missed it. And right now, we've still got fairly strong, strong pressure to the downside. My best estimate is that it probably will not find support here, but this is the area you want to start looking for support because as you can see, we're right within these parameters and right within the, these lows that we've hit before. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Thursday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.